Lawrence Neal carries on the traditional skills of the chairmaker, producing two or three handmade chairs a week at his workshop at Stockton near Rugby. He embodies the craft tradition promoted by the arts and crafts movement of passing down skills through generations of makers. Lawrence served an apprenticeship with his father, Neville Neal, who had worked with Edward Gardner. Gardner was the young partner taken on by Ernest Jimson for his chairmaking business in 1904. That link is reinforced as Lawrence continues to use many of the original tools and equipment from Jimson's and Gardner's workshops. His raw materials are green timber from managed woodlands and rushes cut locally. The chair starts life as timber in the round, which is then split to a manageable size. Lawrence likes to use ash, although some clients prefer oak. Being a supple wood, ash is ideally suited for use in chair making, as it's able to flex and absorb the daily wear and tear of domestic life. Oak tends to be not quite as strong as ash in the smaller sections of chair making, although it can be if chosen carefully from young trees. The rough pieces of wood are first cut to length, those that are going to be turned on the lathe will then be sawn down to a hexagonal cross-section to try and remove as much waste as possible. The wood is then set up on the power lathe between two centre points. With the lathe spinning the wood at 200 RPM, Lawrence can run various chisels along the length of wood as it rotates to create a smooth leg, shaped to whatever profile or diameter the design requires. It's then finished off with sandpaper and, where needed, the fine detailing of grooves. Lawrence uses Jimson's original shave horse to shape other components. He holds the piece firmly on a padded block using a foot-operated lever, which allows him to work with both hands free and brace himself against the foot lever. The piece can be instantly released, flipped, turned or adjusted, which makes for quick shaping of the work. He can produce up to 80 seat rails an hour. Lawrence uses draw knives and then spoke shaves to pare down the wood, always working with the grain. He does this freehand rather than working to a template. To create the curved parts of the chair, the turned legs and plain slats are placed in an electric copper to be boiled. The high temperature and humidity relax and soften the timber. The pieces can then be taken out and clamped in some of Jimson's original bending frames. These hold each piece in a curved form suitable for the chair slats or legs. After a week in the frames, the wood will have set and retained this shape. With all the pieces finished, the mortises are cut in the legs and the slats are fitted in. The chair is then glued, assembled and clamped. The seat is now ready to be rushed. The rushes are selected for their suppleness and size. The seat is rushed to a traditional design, taking about four to five hours to complete. The end result is a durable, comfortable seat that's likely to last 25 to 30 years before needing to be replaced. Finally, the chair is sanded by hand to remove any marks and soiling from the rush seating, then either wax polished or stained according to the customer's requirements.